Hello. Welcome to OFD, Orthodox Fish and Dad. So today, um, it's with a heavy heart that I have to report what I have found using my Saltex. I've had it for roughly a month, give or take a few days. Bought it from Bernie's Bait and Tackle in Brooklyn, New York. And um, this is not a cleaning video. This is a service video. My very first one. Because, um, well, I'm an engineer and I don't think it's that difficult. Considering that the Saltex comes with its own breakdown manual. And shout out to Taco Advisors for their breakdown. Been watching him for a long time. Uh, you should check out his videos. I'll put a link down on the description. But yeah, so back to what I was saying. This is, as you, everyone knows, without even going too far into it, everybody knows this is completely sealed. Well, they say fully sealed. Uh, this is a 6,000. Okay. Um, so I've used the reel mainly in the surf, directly in the surf, on the jetties, on the piers, um, you know, using it, using it. First thing that I had an issue with was that I also report to Tsunami and waiting for them to respond is this little piece right here. This piece came off, went home one night, reeled up this thing, was gonna clip it here, it's missing. Went home, took a look at the manual. Here is the piece right over here. It is, I memorized it already, it should be, there we go, 123. 128 so there's the clip goes in on the outside a retainer 123 is on the inside <clears throat> a retainer goes so line holder goes in here retainer is underneath this plate here yes uh, so if anyone is commenting that I'm using the wrong grease well this was the grease recommended to me at the time being because we don't know what kind of grease this is that they use they're using two types they're using this one right here that looks like Vaseline and this white one right here. A lot of this white one, white grease was on the surfaces, mostly. Um, yeah, so I opened it up because cleaning it with warm water and running water as well as pressurized water to get into all of these crevices here during washing off was just not enough. Um, I find that this t cap here had a lot of sand underneath. So when you turn it, you can hear it grinding. Um, if you hear that during fishing, I mean, while you're fishing, you just basically go to the water, put it real in, water, crank it, creating pressure and turn this a couple of times and technically it comes out the water comes out and it gets smooth again but yeah this cap it's very well recessed in uh, there's no screw holding it in right now but even when before I serviced it yeah once you reel it it just doesn't come out easily you know like 
I think that's a great design. Uh, I don't know how they did that. It must have been because there's a plastic O-ring that creates like a suction automatically. And so if you're fishing and, you know, controlling your drag and instead of like going all the way out, out and then boom, pops out, it doesn't do that. Even all the way out, I've seen, I've tried it. Uh, it. Not that it's hard to take out, it's just I'm using one hand right now, but that's the pressure it holds by itself. So, see, if I shake it hard enough, boom, it'll come right off. So that's great. Um, <clears throat> back to my main concern. Oh, that, that's not vodka. Uh, since this is aluminum, and most of my repair kits as an engineer, I use a higher level alcohol, so I can't use that. I don't like using high volume alcohol to clean this. I use microfiber cloth, hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide does a great job at rejuvenating the metals. Uh, it's not very uh, harsh. And uh, it also, you guys have to understand that in the ocean, just like in life, there are a lot of microorganisms all over, especially in the ocean. And hydrogen peroxide is a good cleaner for those little tiny germs and bacteria that you're not aware of that could be deteriorating your metals and your materials. So yes, uh, that is not, again, that's not vodka. It's hydrogen peroxide, okay? Um, now, um, this is done. I opened it up. Um, it's pretty easy. Take these three screws out. This plate lifts up, exposing, of course, this particular thing that I'm missing. Uh, and then this piece right here, this also lifts up. There's a bearing underneath that's attached to this. And then there also, underneath here, there's also a bearing. So there's two bearings, one right here, one right here, uh, and there is a gasket, a plastic gasket that's underneath this brass here that seals everything up. When I opened this up first time, there was sand all along here, underneath, I mean fine grain sand. There was sand inside the shaft that goes all the way up to here, okay? Water somehow was not moving, but water was present. Uh, water was beating off of this particular material that they use as grease and sealant. Uh, the water would stay on and get attached to this particular grease, therefore showing that the water was there, moisture with some beads of water was there, but it's not moving around like it doesn't move around. Then I got to why uh, I decided to open the, this far. Why it's not a regular cleaning, but a servicing. Because um, I got squeaking. Yeah, squeak, 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 squeak. Every turn I made, squeak, squeak, squeak. Now, <clears throat> I recognized and realized that the squeaking came because this plate right here, this housing plate was squeaking on its own body. It's an aluminum squeak. There is a difference between metal squeak. So this was an aluminum squeak. Every time you turn it, it went eh. Every time it made a revolution near one of these junctions. So I decided to carefully examine and realize that it's not completely, it was not sitting down completely flush. You know, it was a little bit offset, whatever the case. So I can't clean in here without taking this off. I can't. All right. It sits down. When it sits down, it sits down like that. See, you can't get into those crevices. See those crevices in there? You see? See all of that? That's my attempt of trying to grease the two joints of the body. And it just kept squeaking and squeaking. And it was just annoying me. So, I couldn't clean it at all. 
ran water through all of that, high pressure water, all kinds of stuff, uh, soap, I mean, whatever I can think of as a degreaser to lift up the sand grains, it just wouldn't go anywhere. Sand grain just would not leave. So, and then the squeaking. So I knew I had to separate this body so that I can get into here and clean this and see what's going on. Now, now comes the shocker. Well, sorry, hold on. Okay, back again, sorry. Uh, so here comes the shock point, right? This is what's shocking me, like really shocking me. All right, uh, water in here, not so bad. Not getting down to the gears. All right, no big deal. But biggest problem I have is that I can't clean the sand thoroughly. Fine sand. I just can't clean it thoroughly at all. It's so frustrating. I notice that there is a lot of sand grains on the surfaces. There is a lot of sand grain. Um, let me use my pointer here. Get a better cleaner pointer for you guys. Yeah, so I don't know if you can notice it, but yes, there is sand grains. These are all sand grains. Sand grain, sand grain. So all this sand grain is on top, held, protected, or well, whatever, prevented from going further. But I mean, look at this machinery that they use on this gear is ugly like you know sloppy machinery sloppy machinery I work with machinery and come on this is just an ugly machinery of the main gear okay and then they use this really weird mechanical black grease and some joints that's just making it disgusting like this here that's their mechanical black grease that they use. They use some type of a mechanical black grease. It was inside this here, the handle. Oh, by the way, another problem I have, another issue I have, is this was clicking. I heard a click, 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 click. So yes, I fixed, I, I serviced it. You open this here, that's just a retaining top, nothing underneath except it's hollow goes down to here down here is a screw that holds that goes into this here the whole thing comes out and again a bunch of black mechanical grease disgusting it started to show through here started to show through there just black disgusting mechanical grease right now you see my grease the the pen grease now in there and yeah, it's tight, it's not clicking no more, and it's beautiful again, you know, cleaned it up all the way, and that's another thing, you see this hole right here, this recess they have here, all that filled with little tiny grains of sand, all that had to be cleaned, every single one of them, all the way in there, clean, clean, dunked, washed, clean. Now, back to the main gear. Yeah, so there I am. And uh, here's the situation. See, now I have access to this whole area. I'm not going to take this whole thing out. Uh, what I'll do with this grains of sand up here is I'll just surface dab them. Surface dab them as much as I can thoroughly. Clean all of that out. You know, push their grease up there. Just joints. I'm going to leave their grease in there and just clean out. Surface dab all of that. And I'll uh, get into this here, be able to now get into this, clean all that out. You see, that's plastic, guys. That's plastic. Plastic and aluminum is going to squeak. See? You see all that sand? See all that sand right there on the bottom? Those little tiny pebbles there. All of that cannot be cleaned.
and all of that rubs up against the aluminum and all of that creates that problem look just touching it now look there's proof right there see see all the sand and, and I haven't even started cleaning it I just decided to make this video but look at all this all of this is rubbed up against his body and is scratching up the aluminum you see the scratches on the aluminum right there sorry about the focus but yeah so the body is getting scratched up and it's all because again um, it's aluminum and it can't handle gr small grains of sand I'll get hope this helps everybody um, not bashing them I love it it's a great reel uh, it's a good price point but it's advertised to perform a certain way and it should do so uh, for peace of mind and for the investment uh, I don't have that peace of mind I'm frustrated uh, I will continue to use the reel uh, or if I can get a refund or an exchange uh, sorry uh, yeah that's my frustration again thank you tight lines everyone